everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I am joined with one of the reoccurring people for the past like five videos now, my good old friend Jolene. Hello. Yeah, welcome, welcome back man. It's good to keep seeing you in, in the dumpster. <laughs> in the dumpster? Yeah. I just like to peer over to see how you're doing. Yeah, thank you. I actually need it. I've been trying to scrape around for change. Trying to trying to save money for the merch drop, you know. Okay. Oh gosh, I have half a banana. Do you? Do you? Oh, thank you. I need it. <laughs> but no, I found this really cool quarter. Oh my it, god! There's nothing special about it. it has why is there? It. Why is there a little bit? Of, is that dirt on the on the quarter? Yeah. Oh dang. It's not that cool now. <laughs> well, we could use this quarter. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, who's gonna read for? Yo, I can, I can, or I can use it to get bubble gum from the little machine at the Walmart. <laughs> uh, they're out of bubble gum. We'll have to resort to using it to flip. Fine, real fun. All right. <laughs> well, this the the wheel landed on Jolene's choice, and Jolene's choice is to have us have a happy ending, where we are loved and valued. So that's why we're. Continue our reading. Being, yeah, I uh, do love everyone being loved and valued. If you haven't heard it today, you are loved and valued. Thanks, Shelly. You know what? I actually really needed that. You know. I, you know, I'm, I'm really glad I could help you. Yeah, I, I specifically needed that a lot in like March, but <laughs> I'll take it now. Well, damn, you didn't tell me. Oh my bad. I was going through it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're doing better now. <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right, we're reading Corazon, and we are. This is our, our third time reading this, and honestly, I do not remember the last time we read it. <laughs> that, that, that shit was forever ago. I think uh, we we worked for Dolphamingo, and we were tasked of bringing uh, Corazon back to life and whatnot. And now he is in love with us <laughs> and is like down bad for real, for real, no cap. So. We're kind of like living with the consequences of uh, of what's gonna happen when Doflamingo shows back up. Yeah. All right, I have the quarter from the dumpster. All right. Uh, <laughs> do you want to be heads or tails? Uh, the tails. Okay. It's tails. Yes. <laughs> I mean, oh wow, what a coincidence! <laughs> Wow, that's crazy! You like, I could see you over there, like it's calculating. Almost like it was fifty-fifty. <laughs> You're like, well, technically, it landed on heads last time, and it landed on heads the last time that we recorded. So there's a probability it's gonna land on tails. <laughs> it's more like I have a feeling Phoenix has has it resting as the quarter resting on their thumb on tail side, and normally, when I flip a quarter. If I have it tailed up, it's more likely to land on tails than on heads. How did you know so that? I want to read Because <laughs> I'm that smart. <laughs> I'm an intellectual. I actually look up and my camera's been on this entire time. <laughs> I'm actually watching you through the window. Oh my god, that makes so much more get sense. Get some curtain. Yeah, actually I do need to get curtains. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's why I'm watching you through the windows. Anyway. Seven. As he takes back his clothes, you stand up and walk a few circles around the room. What are you doing? He yeah. asks. Sometimes I mess up. Uh, sometimes I mess up something with my leg, and if when I don't pay attention enough, I just want to see how it is before we go to the. As you say this, you turn faster than you should. Your new ankle gives up from the sudden movement, and you trip, headbutting the wall. Shit! You growl, sitting down. Are you okay? Last words of Dante. I tend to believe you're even clumsy. Clumsier than me. That was rude. You huff and pull up your leg. I guess I missed something, or maybe a piece of muscle or tendon. What? Don't panic. I'll, I I can find it. You shout back, touching your ankle with your left hand. Just let me concentrate. I love that. I love it. I gotta find my muscle us. mass. Hold on, just give me a second. Yeah, we're supposed I, to. I left oh, around yeah. Here somewhere. Yeah, I messed up my um my Achilles or something. You have the freakiest ability in this whole world, Sylvia. I told you, it's not bad. Yeah, but yeah. 
I wouldn't be able to heal anything if my father didn't modify me as a fruit. God knows which one caused this. Maybe both. Found it! A muscle? A little bone. He turns as white as snow, like his blood ran cold. You look at his terrified face and chuckle. You know, most of the time when you laugh, I'm scared or clumsy, he says. This is quite... quieting. My bad, he smiles, then grimaces as you create a missing bone inside your ankle. Jeez, can't you warn me before? He screeches, covering his eyes. Is he Swedish? I told you, I'll cry. Probably. It's fine now. He smiles and stand up, moving it again. We can go. Just a second. I said it's alright now. What? This. He smiles and pulls you closer by your waist. Whoa. With the other hand, he strokes. Bro, what do you mean, whoa? <laughs> Bro, I didn't uh... Never mind. <laughs> I worry about you. I worry about me too. With his other hand, he strokes your face, bending your lips gently. I want you to be alright, Sylvia. Not just your body. So before we go, answer me. Are you happy now? Are you calm? I am Rosinante. You answer, looking in his amber eyes. It makes him smile wider and he places one more kiss on your skin. Now on your forehead. Every single movement he does is pure care. I don't know how this is even possible. He wants to let you go, but you nestle, to his, you nestle into his warm body. I think I love you, you whisper. Oh, he fucking better. Red... <laughs> Sorry. No, I, we, that's us. Yeah, you, yeah, you better fucking like us. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I th what? I, he's, wait, what was the line again? Yeah, he said, I think I love you. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we, we whispered better. it. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, we whispered Yeah, also, yeah, we, we better like him. <laughs> We're reading a fucking fan fiction of him. We better be like... <laughs> like... I don't know. Uh, we feel him tensing up, but then he... Relaxes. I can't believe I said it. Are you sure? We barely know each other. I've never loved anyone before, but I'm sure this is true. He said it embarrassingly. Sorry, I could just hear people in the background. I'm sorry, I'm trying to mute because <laughs> they, they talk so loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. This soon these words, sorry. If they were in a book, I would be such, such I would be such a poorly written character to say this now. But you don't have to. I love you too. I love you too, Sylvia. He stops you and you freeze down. Rosanante gently pushes you back so you see your face. I swear I have no idea why, because I'm not a person that falls in love easily. But maybe this is how it should be, right? Not everything in this world is logical. You blush hard and kiss his cheek. For his own smile and kisses you again. This now much more passionately. You hug his body tightly, enjoying his touch until he lets you go. Just to pick you up to start the way towards town. You just trip over just to trip over the door again, making you laugh. No matter our love and care, being carried by you will never be a good idea, Rosie. <laughs> the village is surprising, has a surprisingly big library full of books. You can't even believe it. Rosinante is just as fascinated as you step in. I haven't seen such a beautiful place in years, he was with sparkling eyes. Where was the last time? In Mihawk's home. He had a huge library too. That was the place I had got. I got a bed for a few years when I was with him. You answered. He likes books. I've never seen him reading, but sometimes he said good. He said goodbye at night, and I saw him bringing a book along when he left. He was like a big brother I never had. He cares for me. You know, I think Dolphy cared for me too. Runder to Zanante, leading you to the first row of shelves. Yes, of course. That's why he shot you, right? He can only care until you stay by his side. Say for his own. If you do anything against him, it's over. In Dofi's world, you are with him, or you're his enemy. 
Very true. Have you ever tried... Have you ever tried to talk to them? To not go to Jeff Rosen? You think it would work? Laughed Rosen on day. I know my brother, Sylvia. He can't change. I bet he only left me alive because he figured out something about about how to use me in his plans. He remained silent for a few seconds, and Rosie does the same. You're always so tense when I talk about Joffy. He asked. Are you this scared? Can't you tell me what business you have with him? No. Sorry, but no. Not yet. Such a strange woman. He sighs with a resigned smile, but I understand. I'll wait until you're ready. Thank you. Honestly. He picks up a huge book with a blue cover. I know this story. He changes the, top the topic to help you. My mother often read it from this off read from this officer. In all this book, the characters always find a special place. And from that point on, they'll stay there until they realize that they have to what they have to do in their lives. I wonder if that works in reality. I wanna believe it, smiles Rosanante. But I think it doesn't have to be a place. Maybe our life will change when we meet someone, don't you think? If that's true. Maybe you're the one for me. Why would I be? You ask. Because I never thought I'd be able to wait like this. For somebody. When I could go help Law. You should. I'm temporary in your life, Rosie. Even in my own. Stop saying these things. He smiles a little. And leans, leans into you and kisses your temple. Doffy won't kill you, Sylvia. I won't let him. He'll never have to go back to CPO. Look right, right. The CPO. CP zero. Zero. My bad. Yeah, you should um, watch more One Piece so you can learn to pronounce the names. Well, <laughs> I am. That's so much work. I mean, that's a problem. I work hard enough. Okay. It's okay. There's people here that no, can I'll, help you. I'll get there. <laughs> You take, a, you take a deep breath and hug him, enjoying the fragrance of his neck. You shouldn't still be here if you hear a voice high, high, a bit pissed behind your back. You turn around with Rosanante confusedly to face an angry little girl. Hana, you smile. It's good to see you. The fairies always leave after the festival, she shouts. Rosanante secretly flicks to hide her loud voice in the silent library. Luckily, the child doesn't notice it. I'm on vacation, you answer quickly, and Rosanante throws you a look that makes you feel like you're not sure about your mental health anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Mood a bit. We wanted... We just wanted to be in this world for a bit more, says the man before you can talk again. His eyes go to the neck of... His eyes go to the neck of the kid, where something gleams. You notice it. She notices it and proudly lifts the necklace. The pendant is the nenophore you made her at the festival. And it'll dry out in a few days if you wear it like that, smiles Rosie, but Hannah shakes her head. It's a magic flower. You should know it. Four stone glances back at you when you smile at him. That's right, Hannah, you say, crashing to her. It's a magic flower, and it blooms as long as I live. I feel like this is foreshadowing, but I'm scared. Yeah, <laughs> she smiles she's gonna die. and nods. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die! Damn. Uh, Angst. <laughs> Angst with no happy end. If that happens, I'm literally gonna sob. She smiles brightly and nods, holding the beautiful Nenophar protectively. Rosanante tilts his head, his gaze never leaving your face, and you feel it and turn back. That's the truth. Can I get that? Can I get one then, too? Yeah. I don't give them to anyone, you wink at him playfully, earning a sweet blush. Hana, can you help us a little? We're searching for a tale about... us. But you are the tale. We want to know how did the humans write it. Uh, how... yeah, how did the humans write it, you explain. Please help us find that book. Maybe this is why we met again. Here. She sighs loudly, <laughs> looking at your face. I will ask Grandma. She owns this library, you know. Just wait here a moment. Thank you, you say at the same second as Rosanante. Anna chuckles at this and runs away from the little corridor. Since when can you create such 
Of course, I'm bringing it back to you. I have no idea, you smile. This is the second one I made. He gave the first one to me, Huck, before he left me. It never dried out or disappeared. I think it remains the same as if until I leave this world behind. So, why can't I get one too? Huck the man for a second. Because you want to stay with me, don't you? This way you won't need it. You answer, making him laugh. Rosanante strokes your hair gently. You're right, he smiles. Hana arrives back at the beginning of the corridor and he rises back. Why so tall? Here it is, she shouts, out, giving you a thin book with a dark red cover and golden letters. Thank you, you say, taking it. Rosanante leans down over your shoulder to see it better. Her breath stops for a second, feeling him so close again. My grandma wants to talk with you, continues the little girl and you frown. With me? Yes. Only you. You turn your head to ask for advice. Horsebones and eyes are clu as clueless as yours. It's not much time, smiles Hannah. Something is strange here. Don't go, don't go, Sophia, whispers Rosie in your ear, protectively stroking your arm. I'll be back soon. You smile. Start the book without me. Don't worry. I can protect myself. Promise? Promise. As Hannah hears it, she grabs your hand and leads you leads you away from Coruscant, who follows your figure with a worried gaze. He takes a deep breath to calm him and removes his ability, looking at the Book of Fables. It must be fine. I have to trust her a bit more. After today, I believe that she won't run, run away. I feel like she's recovering, slowly, but that deep fear and pain will dis disappear. I, I'll help her become whole again. Because if she does, she'll be the most perfect soul I've ever met. Oh, that's I can feel her sweet. <laughs> I can feel her presence around with my hockey. If it disappears, I'll follow her. Until that, I shouldn't worry. Corazon sighs and opens the book. What a beautiful cover. I can't read it without her. I'll wait until she returns. But maybe I can see the pictures of drawings if there's any. He rifles through the pages quickly, and there's no images inside. Rosanante pouts a bit sadly, and his eyes widen when he reaches out to the end of the book. No wonder it looks so thin. The last few pages got ripped out of the ending roughly. The blonde man strokes the damaged book with a little, a little with care. Why would someone do this? Hana guides you through the shelves until you reach a desk with an old woman who nods at the child to leave. You're standing a bit confused, confusedly as Granny looks you up and down. You are the woman who isn't from this island. I tried to find you these last two days. It wasn't easy. When Hannah talked about you after the festival, I hoped you would come. Do I know you? No. I just have to give you something, he says. Then smiles at you. And thank you for making that flower for Hannah. She's, she's so happy with it. You must have a wonderful devil fruit. It Thank you, you murmur. The old woman smiles even wider and gives you a package from the desk. Are you sure it's for me? Certainly. She answers and leaves you alone without any other words. You shake the little box and it gets what's inside, but you have no idea, so you open it. Your heart misses a beat and your breath stops. A dead musty, and not anyone. Why? You take a deep breath and glance back towards the shelves. Luckily, Rosinante is nowhere to be seen. You lift the snail and start a call. And your blood run cold, runs cold when he speaks. <gasps> <laughs> I don't like Del Flamingo. <laughs> yo, yo, make it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> You're gonna make it. No. I know no wanna. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta. It, it took some time, Sylvia. I didn't receive it. What do you want? I left five packages like this in the town. To let, to let you get it without Rosie for sure. And there's two flamingo. You hear his voice that he's. Gr you hear from his voice that he's grinning. There's no sign of his former attitude left. Your voice is different. Is he trying to save you? Foolish little brother. 
Why did you want to talk? You said I have a week. My, my. Stop worrying. I'll keep my word and complete our deal. I just wanted to give some details, but since that, I've got some pieces of information you'll be grateful for. I don't think we have anything to talk about, Kukumingo. You remain silent for a second, and he chuckles. Then the pirate says something that'll turn that turns you pale as a ghost. We have much to talk about. If you don't want to see your sweet father in the near future, Sylvia. <gasps> oh, fuck. They have our dad! What, Mihawk? <laughs> our actual dad? <laughs> I think our actual dad. Damn it. They said Mihawk. Because Sylvia said Mihawk's like an older brother. Oh, did she? Okay. I don't know if it. I can't remember if it was <laughs> one of those like, adopted things. Oh. Uh, kind of like Sanji's father, you know? No, but that's like. that. That is Sanji's father. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Yeah, Zeph, Zeph is Sanji's dad. There is no other man yeah, I don't, that's what important in his life. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking that. Exactly. Were you thinking about Judge? Judge is a lunatic. He could <laughs> never father someone as beautiful and as wonderful as Sanji. I yeah, like how you said beautiful in there too, just for my sake. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I was so, okay, completely off topic. Yeah, I was so surprised when you put Sanji under Vox and Mr whatever his name is. Mr. Puzzles? Yeah, I was so surprised. I was like, wow. Wait, you really, you really down- I'm gonna have to look at my own fucking tier list. <laughs> you really downgraded. <laughs> Not the downgrade, anyway. man! That was so fucked up <sighs> for you to say. Someone had to. Yeah. <laughs> that someone is me. I need to judge you at all times. It's my job. <laughs> Alright. Chapter chapter eight. All right. All right. Let's see if I can go through this without people screaming in the background. Let's go. <laughs> what are you talking about? You whisper, yell. I got away from you years ago. How, what voice does Doflamingo have? <laughs> should I <laughs> should I give him a, like, a shitty one? It. No, I hate Doflamingo. I'm gonna give him the voice that I use for Charon in Pokemon. <laughs> shut up, oh, darling. <laughs> Before I make you shut up. It says, sighs Doflamingo, and you shiver. How can he be so different than Rosadante? I sent a picture of Rosie's body to the Navy after I shot him, says the man. In my puppets, and we'll make sure that they believe his corpse was taken by me. But at the same time... The loss of the Opi Opi Noomi interested the government in to a much deeper extent. I saw a CP Zero ship by the island today. You saw? I thought you left me here a few days ago. He sighed. He laughs at this loudly, and you turn red. Because just because you open the cage of of, of your birds, you keep the window closed. Else they would fly away. No, that is so true. <laughs> I don't want my birds getting out. All the, all the many birds I have. Yeah, you many birds. Yeah. Yeah, I leave the window open and, and Squirtle escapes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to lean against the wall to catch your breath. The world is dizzy around you. You never planned to leave us alone. Rosie didn't even have a chance. You've completed our agreement, but I won't save you if you get caught, says Doflamingo. On the other hand, my sweet little brother can't meet any of the government dogs for personal reasons. You kill them before noon, or we have to move my part of the deal for today. You can't, you shout and cover your mouth a second later, afraid of him hearing it. Doflamingo stays silent for a second. I can do whatever I want, Sylvia, he says, his voice more serious. Tell the truth. Is there something between you and Rosie? No. Oh, he knows. No. It's <laughs> crazy, man. No. <laughs> you didn't answer, but it's up to him to understand. At least I won't be the one who hurts him and the, the worst in his life. Smirks the pirate and you tremble. You have until noon. The ship at the south, the southern coast. No town there. Don't leave survivors, or I'll break our deal. 
Understood, you whisper, trying to fight against the spike slowly growing in your heart at his words. Sylvia? What? Even if you are brave, I still don't feel sorry for you, says Doflamingo. The deal uh, the deal uh, favors me too, but I won't take the risk of going against CP0. It'll be bad for my plans. And do your best, and don't fuck this up. I get out oh, and, and fuck and get prepared for your part. Don't let emotions drive you away from your girl, your goals. One more, you can't, and I'll and I won't do it. Do I make myself clear? I'll I'll get it done by noon. Good, he grins and hangs up the call. You put the 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 uh the snail in your pocket and suffocates your coming tears. We say I won't be the one who hurts him the worst in his life. Sylvia, what are you doing here? Her eyes rose on tape from the corridor and you turn your head away. We are still birds in a cage. Doflamingo was right. I have to play by his rules and accept my fate. I mustn't share it with, Do with Rosadante. You're so pale, he says worriedly, and walks to you a bit closer, reaching for your face. Did something hap- But he frowns when you grow a sh sharp spear of wood from your forearm, coating it with hockey. You point at his chest, your em the amber eyes widen. Don't touch me, you hiss with a cold voice. I'm sick of us! <laughs> I don't like us! Maybe we deserved the death penalty. <laughs> Uh, no! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Jesus! A lot. Uh, so, your heart almost shattered from the pain written on his features. This whole attachment of yours was a mistake. You stay keeping your face empty. If you try to come closer, I'll kill you. And when, and when he suddenly relaxes and, smile, and smiles sadly, your hand shakes. What? You won't hurt me, Sylvia, he says and steps to you, the spear scratching your skin and you feel as if your tears will flow. The weapon withdraws on its own. I just can't. Tell me what happened. I can help. Whispers Rosadante, leaning down to you. The painted lips leave a gentle kiss on your cheek and you recoil. Don't make it harder. No, you can say that about a lot of things. Don't make it harder. Oh my gosh, not everything has to be in a context! <laughs> His strong arms embrace you and you start crying. <laughs> it's okay, he mutters, stroking your back. We'll solve it. Believe in me. He wants to continue, but freezes down when something warm covers his hand. <gasps> we actually fucking stabbed him! <laughs> Rosalti falls backwards. Scaredly, glaring at at your blood on his skin. We didn't stab him. Oh, we stabbed ourselves. Yeah. <gasps> he bit your lip and pull out the spear from your side, bending your back a little for the. Are we still in the library? <laughs> yeah. Also, are we still in front of that old lady? Yeah. <laughs> she just. <laughs> oh. oh, it's beautiful. I love it. What the fuck are you doing? He yells at you, trying to stop you when you place the spear against your arm. If you don't let me leave, I will hurt myself, you whisper. Oh, where the fuck did I- oh yeah, you whisper. And try to break- try not to break down when he starts sobbing. Sylvia, what happened to you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I don't want to be angst! <laughs> I want to shout and grab her by the shoulders and shake her. She's stupid. <laughs> She's just like me. She's just like me for real. For Would real. you stab yourself because you wanted to save your man? I guess. I don't even know what if you're saving. I don't even know what's going. Which man are we referring to? I have five in, in the S tier, man. I don't know. I'm gonna finish reading. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you shake your head and start to assert your way out of the library. He tries to catch your hand, but you push the spear into your flesh and he stops. You want him to say goodbye, 
You wanted to tell him the truth about you, about your future and past. About why you have to leave him, as you should have done it at the very beginning. But your mouth doesn't open, so you just leave silently. Pushing all your emotions behind. This was only a dream. I'm still in a dream. <laughs> this is an appropriate time for that one, okay? <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah. It wasn't hard to find the government ship, but everyone else... But killing everyone else inside was... Was more than crucifying? Mm -hmm. Yes! Holy shit, Phoenix can read? <laughs> the mist of a Development. Cert. Hmm? Character development. Oh, God. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> the mist of the surge was growing in your mind, second by second, and you fastened your pace. They weren't weak, but you mod but your modified body and double fruit made it too too much stronger? Oh, made you too much stronger. Okay, my bad. The only thing that wasn't strong about you is your mind. Maybe Rosa Dante was right, and it broke many years ago when they tortured you to discover the, the borders of your abilities. Being created a murderer, and you never- wait, you were never one at heart. You slice the throat of the last soldier on deck and enter the ship. You keep your lips stiff, muscles tense and ready. Dodge, cut, stab until they don't move anymore. Some of the staff don't even know how to defend themselves. Your clothes drenched in their blood and you shake hard until you try to ignore the feelings of your spears piercing through human flesh. You ignore all the last words as you always did in your past, right until the last man. Someone call for him! He cries, trying to crawl away from you. Somebody! You step back a little with a terrible fore feeling. Call for who? Where is he? Saw the officer standing with shaking legs. Where is he? You shiver and stab through his chest. The man falls forward and you catch him. I'm I'm sorry, you whisper and let his body and let his body end on the floor, side by side with all the crews. After all the breathing of the people stops, you fall on your knees and cover your eyes in the field of corpses. Your hockey disappears and you start screaming in pain. The devil fruit of life turned into a weapon to kill humans. And his user had never wanted to hurt anyone, who's still forced to murder more and more throughout her life. Rosadante. <laughs> you stay there silently for for more than an hour, hoping that the iron like scent scent of blood would drown you. But you know well that death is not so easy for someone like you. Your hand finds the uh the snail in your pocket, and you watch it for a few seconds. But before you call, it starts ringing on its own. You thrill and pick it up. Dolph, don't go near that ship, he shouts, suddenly, and your eyes widen. Oh, I finished the mission. Get the fuck away from that place, then, he yells. What? There's a warlord on that ship. Your heart skips a beat as you hear the anger in his voice. I killed everyone in the ship, Doflamingo. Wh which fucking warlord is on here? Now I gotta know. Watch it be like Jinbei. <laughs> Watch it be like Mihawk. Oh my god. What if it is? Doubt. But a hand reaches above your- He little rat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a hand reaches above your shoulder and takes away the snail. You start shaking as he ends the call. You look up and Rosadante crouches down next to- Oh, that's so- how did you find us? <laughs> uh, you look up and Rosadante is crouching down next to you. You cry again, crawling back in the, the blood of your victims. Why are you- but you can't even finish the sentence because the surge comes. Your mind falls into a mist. Black pitch flows. Yeah, black. Black pitch flows through your veins and s and slow you down. You scream and huddle yourself under the pressure. It's too much. It's too much. All these pictures, memories of your past, splice up every thought that crossed your mind. 
until his arms close around your body gently. You start trembling, but clench his shirt. His tears fall from fall into your hair. The mist slowly starting to fade and lets you find your emotions. Love. This isn't you, Sylvia, he whispers, pressing his lips on your forehead. Come back. You shouldn't be here. But I am, and I will, says Rosadante with a sad smile, looking around at himself. You hide against his wide chest, crying desperately. What made you do this? He asks silently, lifting your chin. You close your eyes and shake your head. It will only hurt him if he stays, but I'm not strong enough to push him away over and over again. It's over. He mutters and embraces you tenderly. You will heal, Sylvia. I promise. I mustn't go back to them, Rosadante. You sob, looking at the dead bodies. He tenses up. This was a CP0 ship, he said, and you nod, curling up over his lap. I'll never let them take you, he whispers Corazon, kissing your cheek. But don't try to leave me again, because every time you do, it's worse to come back, even if I will forever. You hide in the strong arms. Your mind is in a panic and calmless. Rosadante- Calmness. Ca fuck. Did it, what did I- wait, what did I say? <laughs> it's like- He said calmness. Oh. I don't know. Don't think Reading's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Rosadante carefully stands up and pulls you- And holds you by his skin. Oh, oh, by his- okay, I, like, close to my- his scout. Okay, I thought you meant, like- <laughs> I was, like, picking someone by the R- I don't know. <laughs> he trips once while going to the deck, but doesn't fall. You don't deserve this. Listen, I won't listen to this speech from you again. It starts being annoying, he scoffs. I just- I can't leave you alone. And you have to accept it. You try to wipe off your tears and, and kiss his hand. Rosadante smiles at you slightly. I have many questions, but I'll wait until you get better, he whispers, and sits down at the barrier. You nestle into his body, searching for his scent over the bloods. Thank you, you tremble, hiding your eyes. He strokes your hair carefully and look up at the sky. The only one who can end my surges. You're strong, Sylvia, but I feel like... But I feel like you don't use your strength to do things you want. You follow orders. I always had to choose between two nightmares and try to pick the shorter one. You whisper. Rosadante's hug tightens around your body. You shouldn't stay beside me because I will drag you with myself into one. Or I will give you a dream to choose alongside the nightmares, he answers hate myself because I believe him. <laughs> I must see you smile, Sylvia, says Rosadante, and you shiver. You look up and leave a sweet kiss on his red lips. His taste spreads over yours. They may be two birds locked up together, but at least- but I will make sure you can fly free at the end. Damn, we're gonna die. I can feel it. <laughs> you just keep going. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm too. You suddenly jerk up when your hockey warns you. Someone's coming. Corazon shakes as you jump and send a spear towards the side of the ship where the newcomer climbs to the deck. You remember the officer who, who waited for help for someone and then the strange call for Dolphamingo. But then you see the wide black blade blocking your weapon. You recoil. Rosadante catches, has to catch you, catches your back before you fall. <gasps> it's Mihawk! <laughs> I knew it. I'm so right. Mihawk arrives at the deck and scolds, feeling the weight of the- Scowls. Hmm? Scowls. Scowls. Feeling the weight of the death in the air. Corazon protectively pulls you to his side, but you are just glaring at the raven-haired man with empty eyes. He, who took care of you as a child for years, who saved you, and who left you in the end without a single word or goodbye. The green eyes find yours, and you see him lower his sword. 
When he drops it to the floor, your heart skips a beat. The Mihawk you remember would have never let his katana touch the ground. Is that you, Sylvia? I'm gonna pull up. <laughs> wow. Wow. What's gonna I can't believe you abandoned us. That's all kind of fucked up. What? I can't believe you abandoned us. That's so fucked. Yeah. Oh, did you see the picture for this chapter? Yeah, the law? Aww. Oh, that's so sweet. He's with his son. Our son. The green eyes widen. And he steps closer to you, reaching for your face. You startle and hit his arm. Rosinante stands in his way. Don't touch her, he hits her, and pulls out his gun, aiming it at the warlord. <laughs> I'm sorry, the fact that he just pulls out a gun is so funny. <laughs> For his I don't know why that's hilarious. Because he's got a sword and one has a gun, but obviously the one with the sword is going to win because it's freaking Dracul Mihawk. Yeah. But anyway. Um, Will the to assume I don't have enough hockey to protect myself, even without a weapon? Says the black-haired man calmly. He starts shaking under the weight of his gaze. That hasn't changed a bit in the last nine years. I will you to assume I can't use hockey. Answers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, answers is an ante. Walking the pistol. Miyak lifts his hands into the air, but he isn't afraid. His eyes are still resting on your face. You fight to have an affair. I won't attack you, but if you take a hostile step, you're dead. He says to the blonde who grits his teeth. Neither of you are weak, but he's on another lever level. Sylvia, I have to have a talk with you. I have nothing to talk to you about. You answer silently in a blonde look at you worried. You take his hand and shake your head a bit, so he lowers his weapon. The world feels lighter when you turn around. Mihawk doesn't say a word as the two of you go to the barrier of the ship. Then he talks to you and the time almost freezes around you. Your father found the serum so he could complete his plan with you. Rosanante stops and you feel his grip tightening around your fingers. His eyes widen, endless hollows open in your heart. I don't have time. I don't have any time. You start trembling and fall back a little. Horace own frowns for a second before he crouches opposite you and gives you a sweet kiss on your forehead. Sylvia, you have to stay with me, he whispers, stroking your face. It's okay. It's not okay. Steps me hot. Oh. It's not okay. Steps me hot closer. Rosadine tape throws a, such an angry gaze at him that even the warlord shuts up. Then he turns back to you and places your left hand over his chest. Your thoughts orbit like crazy, but you manage to calm down as he tells you to regulate your breathing. All of his. His wide chest moving up and down, and he slowly regain consciousness. The only one. The only one in the world who could help you. Though she still has surges, whispers me half in your hand, which is. You left me, he said, turning to him. I told you everything about me and my past. Those two years were all. were all when. Uh, were all when I received care in my life until meeting this man and. you left me without saying goodbye. You went. you went to the HQ and never came back again. As Rosanante hears it, the slow tear lips leaves his eye. <laughs> I feel like ah sorry the fr the I did it to protect you absolutely killed me because like I get it but it's also like infuriating. <laughs> and just me how calmly. You hate him for staying calm. You hate yourself for hating him, and you just hate that he seems so emotionless all of the time. Well, his help meant your life back then. You have to listen to me, he shouts suddenly, and you throw away all your feelings at the mist and your mind appears. I don't have to, you growl and catch the barrier to jump down, but... We should listen to him, Sylvia, says Rosanante, and you look in the amber eyes and shiver. Eyes you can't say no to. It's not like it matters what he wants to say. Be quick, you look at Mihawk. A slight smile of relief spreads on his lips for a second. Let's leave the ship first. An hour later, by the side of the forest, is it on Kate's point of view. Do you think she'll forgive me? asks Mihawk, looking at the young woman's back. She's sitting by the coast, silently watching the horizon where the sea meets the sky. 
I'm not sure. Answer Griffey. Maybe after she's healed. She's too broken to heal. Nobody's too broken to heal with enough time and help. An idealist, aren't you? I must be. Smiles the blonde slightly, lighting up a cigarette. What can be worth in this life? I'm not believing in something. You're burning. Often. Mihawk sighs and threw the knife in the air to create some wind, put out the fire. I want to know her past, so it's risen on these sounds. She seems to be attached to you, yet she didn't tell you? Scowls, scowls the warlord. I don't want to make her remember, especially after these surges of fear. It's caused by memory. Mihawk looks, in looks into the other man's eyes, but he stands the famous gaze. I know she's the daughter of Vegapunk. And CP0 tortured her. Forced her to kill too, I assume, says the blonde. If I want to understand her, I must know more. I took her in from the ship after she murdered the crew in her pain, answers the black haired man, never losing stubborn teeth on his face. She was only nine. I was nineteen. I was on my journey to find worldly opponents in the seas, but I stopped for her. Never felt responsible for anyone before, but she was so vulnerable and so strong at the same time. Imagine what strength would she have if nothing of eh, if nothing of that happened to her. I don't care what could be different in her. Just love her the way she is now. And this is an auntie with a sad smile. Mihawk surprisingly smiles back at him before turning serious again. I don't want to talk much about her past, neither, besides. Vegapunk's dream about growing humans turned out to be possible, but she paid the price. Experiments on her body, on her mind, on her devil fruit, to a point where she didn't even feel like a human. They put her in the rack, trying to find a way to make it work. They ever tried giving her love instead? Her father was angry with her because she couldn't live up to his expectations. The CP0 were just the last step. They forced her to murder and fight for morals she didn't even understand because trauma made her reactions and power stronger. When I found her, she was enough on the edge to kill everybody on her ship. After I took her away, she really let me go, a child, growing up without knowing care. I'm not the man of feelings, but I try to be there. And she nestled to my arm, hugged my leg while sailing. Only could sleep next to me. She must have been sweet. Deadly annoying. Without me, Hawk, rolling his eyes, but then his features grow soft. Although I cared for her and wanted to protect her, so I took her to a safe home and stayed as much as I could while having my travels. Sylvia even shared her past with me as much as she was able to. I'm sure it wasn't all, and it terrified me. I was never terrified before and since thought this child will never learn how to be whole, but still, she started asking questions, smiling and laughing as days went by. She started healing and you abandoned her, I said Rosanante. No wonder she's scared of connection. I received an invitation to become a warlord and I accepted it, he answered, the yellow eyes burning. I believed she'd be safe this way. She may be able to forgive you with, uh, be able to forgive you. But I'm not sure I can, says Rodante. Even if I understand. You could have done something for her. Anything. I said my apology and explained it to her. Now all I can do is wait. Sighed the warlord, looking at her by the sea. I'll help Sylvia escape from this place and I'll hide her before the government finds her. Not just her. Not just for her, but for everyone. We can't let them have an unlimited army. Especially with her getting her... You mustn't get that serum. Serum. X. Her life is her decision. Stop talking about taking her away, just like this, growls Rosanante. Sylvia refuses to leave this island, and I'm sure she has a good reason. But it's just for a few days, and CP0 won't find her as soon as we act cleverly. What do you want from me, Rosanante? Leans closer to the swordsman. The black leg leans on his back in the sunshine. You really do have the eyes of a hawk. Corazon takes a deep breath and tries to make a smile on his face. I want you to meet my brother. Ah! 
No. <laughs> no, honestly, me. <laughs> no, I do not want to be that bad. <laughs> but anyway, Peter's point of view. I understand now, but it still hurts. He became a warlord for me. But they sent him to CP with they sent him with CP Zero to find a missing child for the government. Thinking about it, logical choice. He doesn't care to know about things the government. Strong enough to kill me if needed. And when Mihawk realized that it's neither looking, he didn't dare to come home. But still, that can't happen like that. And the serum. He offered his help in, to find me after my father succeeds. This is how he got here. Following traces of me around the world. The girl who fought with wood and grew flowers from two stones. You bury your face in your knees, but you stop crying like half an hour after coming here, leaving the two men alone. Why is this happening to me? Being around Mihawk was too painful. The first who you could love, who cared about you. Knowing the truth is, it makes the void he left better. But I'll stop thinking about it, because right now I have more important things to focus on. I have risen on to- Yes, girl, get your- <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Please, please let him help you. Blame! Anyway. And I know what I have to do. The first half to that I choose that I chose by myself, even though I was forced to make this decision. You take a deep breath and pull out the dented musky from your pocket. You got it back secretly in the chip. God damn it! <sighs> I'm sick of her. But I mean, no, she what the fuck no, happened? Please, please tell me she calls him and just says "fuck you" and <laughs> I wish, I really wish that was what's going on. Yeah, she's like, I'm Come gonna on. take control of my own destiny. Go fuck yourself, sir. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm You're do fucking my own Miles Morales is that shit. <laughs> uh, I love, I love. <laughs> What the fuck happened? Shouts Rosanante angrily in your fist clenches. Everything is fine, I knew him. You have fucking... I mean, you have fucking strange connections, Sylvia, growls the man. Move the, de move the deal tomorrow evening. What? Tomorrow evening. I want to close it and be free. You remain silent for a second. You know I won't trick you. I'll be at that field you left me. Alone. I thought you needed to speak. You care? Never. He smirked. So your father found a solution to his little problem, I suppose. Don't play around with women, go. Tomorrow evening. You close our deal. Sylvia? What? Don't let him see it. Just silent. Almost with a spring voice. It makes your blood run cold. And he ends the call before you could answer. I know. How are you? Sounds a gentle- Ah. Uh, sounds a gentle voice from your back and you hide the dent and mushy. You turn around and smile a little when he sits next to you and presses his, his lips to your temple. How- wait. He kisses us a lot, right? Yeah. Or- well, I guess, but- This is the- this is such a stupid question. I- It's- do you think his lipstick is transfer proof? Oh, absolutely. I do think so. Oh, so, you, so no, so you don't we're think we're getting any of the like the red marks? Oh, nothing? I think exactly that. Like every time he does, it's just like a new mark on us. Oh dang, he's got some cheap lip <laughs> cheap lipstick. Yeah. But, um. How did this go? Uh, when you look at the forest, you lower, you lower, but crawl closer to his warm body so he can embrace you. Frozen on his scowls and watch up a tear you couldn't stop in time. Where's Mihawk? He had something important to do, but he won't abandon you again, Sylvia. You don't have to back. Cup his face and look into the beautiful eyes of his. I'm sorry. I have important things to, to say, you whisper and kiss him tenderly. Firstly, we have one day on this island. Together. No surprises, no surges. Nothing else than us. 
I will be real as you wanted me to be. Then close the deal with your brother. You smile sweetly and your heart warms. Secondly, your lips open against his mouth as you whisper the answer to him. I love you. I love this comment. It just says, this is so sad, bro. <laughs> I like <laughs> so you play Despacito. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, honestly, these are getting good. I need to- I need to know what happens. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Did you read so, this? So, I find- I was looking at the comments, and I was- Uh, and we're 20, and Rosinante's, I think, 26 by this timeline. Okay. That's good. It's a little iffy. Definitely a little iffy, but, um, you know. Lisa saw but what were you asking, if I had already read it? Yeah. No, I have not. Okay, I know you like going ahead with some of these when when they interest you, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to. Um, it's very difficult. I sometimes just go, like, um, a pieces ahead of what you're reading. Gotcha. I don't know if you were like, I, I like, I come over and I'm like, yo, are you okay? And you're like, the voice has, <laughs> like, oh, you're tweaking because you really want to know what happened. <laughs> Dude, if I'm ever like, if I'm ever like the voices, there's something genuinely wrong. Because <laughs> it won't be just the voices. They'll be telling me things. Horrible things. Terrible, terrible things. Uh, I'm, gonna have, I'm gonna stab a piece of wood in my side. Whoa. Well, It'll be a core. Let's not. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not, but, I'm not medically trained or emotionally trained for that one, buddy. <laughs> don't worry, it won't happen. I have self restraint. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to read chapter 10 or are we, gonna leave, are we gonna leave it off here? I think we leave it off there, man. Honestly? Ooh, I'm so excited! <laughs> honestly, 8 out of 10. I like this so far. I'm, I'm hoping they do not butcher this ending. I'm hoping. I'm very excited. How many oh, chapters just, are left in oh, here? There's 13 chapters total and we have to do technically 4. We have okay. 4 more to read. Maybe we can do an extra long one for uh, for the Corazon next time. Next time we read it. Yeah. Now we have something beautiful we must do. What the could wheel! it be? What could it be? I love the wheel. Wheel, 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 wheel. wheel. All right. Here's oh. here's the wheel right now. All right. Let's let's hope for something good. Okay. Okay. Yes, Fuck. yes, yes. Ah! I'm God, killing myself, God. B.R. <laughs> you know I'm indecisive. I, I gotta pick a book for Friday. I even... Oh shit, we're recording Friday. I forgot. I don't, I don't even get a week. <sighs> oh shit. Uh, uh, oh, you clicked again. Uh, 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 Did fuck. you want to click again? No, Did you mean I didn't to? mean to. It, it's all good. Just. Close that. It's good. Yay! <laughs> what if you got a couple days? We'll okay. see what you choose. Okay. Wait, we get there and we're like, alright, what are you picking? And uh, you see me pull out the SMG34 fanfiction I've been reading. I would. <laughs> I'm gonna throw myself out the window. No, does it's the really window good. only drop? Does the window only drop four feet? Yes. But am I throwing myself out of it? It's not bad, dude! I'm not reading SMG fanfic! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes me sad. <laughs> I'm already looking at has been fanfic. I'm already lightly peeking over the fence on hell of a boss, and you already got me to one. Piece. <laughs> no more. No more. <laughs> no more fandoms. You're done. <laughs> you're 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 done. Dunzo. Also, I don't like the art style for it. With the art style of SMG4? I, I don't like that Mr. Puzzle guy. He's <laughs> weird and crazy. He's looking. in like five episodes. It's out of like the 400 that are in. 400? Yeah, this nah. should have been love. I mean, nah, man. Okay, I, I, I fucked this up. <laughs> you, you do not like the series anymore. Nah, I'm doing that.
No, I can't do that to myself. Dude, it's fine. If you if you think about it, the episodes are like 10 minutes long and there's 400 of them. So you're like, like spending like... Um, uh, an, an amount of time on it. <laughs> <sighs> Let's do some math. I, I, you know I can't do math, right? 40,000? It's like 66 hours. Damn. It's almost 67 hours. I'm not- I can't do that. Oh, okay. At least I tried. <laughs> anyway, Jolene, what thank you for joining, man. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, I really like that thing. Maybe at some point I will get you to read a, an SMG 3-4 fanfiction. Over my dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can invite Elf on the Wattpad book club just so I can read this book with someone. <laughs> Alright, well thank you guys for watching. You're gonna have like you're gonna have a text to speech voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just realized, yeah, it's gonna be text to speech. Right, well anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I highly appreciate it. Um thank you Jolene for joining. I appreciate you always sticking out these Wattpad book club readings. Uh thank you for being a team player. <laughs> I do my best. And uh on screen somewhere is a is a playlist link to all the other Wattpad book clubs I've done with uh Jolene and then other ones from past guests. So you guys should go watch those, I guess. Um, there's a Vox one that's pretty cool. I recommend that one the most. <laughs> your mom. Yeah, uh, your mom incorporated. <laughs> and Dude. then in the description is a bunch of links that I won't read out because I'm not streaming. <laughs> uh, woo, Astro Gummy! Yeah, Astro Gummy! <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>